Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are removing the parked fire trucks outside of all the stations inside of Los Angeles and uh, Blaine County and all the different places. This is just a resource because a lot of uh, roleplay servers kind of like parking their own vehicles out there when they're actually online and there's firefighters online and stuff. So this just gets rid of those default fire engines that always get in the way and are quite annoying. So very, very easy to install. Let's get straight into it. First, I would like to apologize for any noise you hear in the background. It's been a very crazy day. We got workers and everything over. So please um, ignore any noise. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So if you don't uh, know how to install resources, uh, all you have to do is go to your resources folder, which normally is in your server data resources folder. If you've installed using the traditional method, if you use TX admin and easy admin, it's probably in your TX data folder inside of your local disk C. Um, and if you have a host, most likely zap hosting or one of a VPS, it will be through file access. So you can contact your host for more information on that if you need help. But anyway, all you have to do is go to the download page, which is linked to the top of the description and go ahead and download the related zip file. Open this up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up these files. You can see, um, here it is. And then in here you can see remove park fire trucks and there's an underscore underscore resource dot lula stream and a readme file. So the stream file actually has the files that actually remove them and the underscore 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 bah, underscore underscore resource dot lula file is just the thing that enables it. So all you have to do is drag this to where your existing resources are. Rather than renaming the file or anything, we're just going to right click, click rename, but we're not going to rename it. We're going to right click and copy it. Copying it allows us just to remember the name of it quite easily. And we're going to go to wherever we store our server dot cf file in my case it is in my server data folder um, and then at the top of this file you'll see ensure or start depending on whatever you have here just continue that trend mine is ensure uh, clearly I can't type today um, clearly still can't type today um, ensure and then the name of the thing we just copied remove parked fire trucks and if we go ahead and start up our server using our start.bat or our fx server.exe file we can see that it actually has started resource remove park fire trucks so we know we are good to go let's hop in game and see if there's any fire trucks the stations. All right, so we are outside of the fire station here, and you can see there is no fire truck, so we know we have installed this correctly. Hopefully this did help you um, get your server a little bit more realistic in terms of fire stations and everything if you do have a fire department on your server. Um, and let me know what other resources you want to see down in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video in two days. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.